What's up Brozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another Gravity Falls video. Now today, I'm not doing another reaction, I'm actually doing a little bit of a kind of prediction, analysis, etc. Um, basically what I want to do, and this is strictly for entertainment purposes, this is not going to be accurate in any way, shape or form. There is no way I'm going to predict anything in Gravity Falls because I've heard that it's a really, um, it, it's a series where like there's there's a lot of foreshadowing, uh, and and like people even go back and rewatch the show and see things that they didn't see before. That you can't predict the show basically. It's the storyline is probably crazy. Um, so I, I don't I don't really know if I can predict the whole show. But um, just to make sure we're on the same page here, I've only watched two episodes of Gravity Falls. Uh, the first two of the first season, and I've really enjoyed it. Uh, obviously, I'm doing a reaction series, so if you want to keep watching that, then make sure you subscribe so you can see when they come out as well. Um, but today I want to do a, like a, a little kind of discussion, because there was something in the first episode that I noticed straight away, but I didn't really dive too deep into it. And today I kind of want to have a closer look at it and see if I can make any predictions based on it. So let's have a look at what it is. What I'm referring to is this. This is um, basically in the intro. You, you have the intro play, then you have the title card, and then for one frame, this image pops up. And it's very, very interesting for a few reasons. First of all, I see a lot of symbols here. Like there's a lot of things that I don't understand. And I'm hoping today we can maybe make some progress on that and actually try to understand what's going on. But also like, this looks like a screenshot of what might be in the book that Dipper has and the book that I believe exists in real life too now. I think they actually published a book um, with this sort of thing in. So I I'm very intrigued to see what we can get off of this. So obviously the first thing that I noticed uh, when I recorded yesterday, um, the first reaction video, is top right corner, there seems to be some matrices. Um, and I think, can you see, I'm, I'm assuming you can see my, uh, my cursor here, but uh, actually we can zoom in as well. So this, these, I, basically I, a little bit of background, I am a bit of a, I, I have a numbers mind, I have a mind for numbers, um, and I went to university to do maths, so this, this thing popped out to me instantly when I saw this screenshot. And the reason is because it's, it's matrices. And not only is it matrices, but um, essentially these are matrices that look like they can be multiplied together. That's, that's what's being shown here, that it, they're, mul they're matrices that are being multiplied together. Um, and they are like, it is able to be multiplied together. That's the thing. If it, if it was like, a 4x4 four four matrix times a 5x5 five five matrix, that doesn't work. But the fact that it's a 4x4 four four matrix times a 4x4 four four matrix times a 1x4 matrix, or a vector, um, that tells me that, uh, that this can be multiplied together. And I'm sorry for blabbering on here, this probably doesn't even make any sense. Uh, and again, this is just for your entertainment purposes only. Uh, kind of me trying to make discoveries in this series. But um, I did actually try before recording to multiply the matrices together. What I've got here is in my little book, you can probably see, there you go. Um, what we have are the three matrices up here. I'm not, a, I'm not a maths teacher, I wish I was, but I'm not. There's the three matrices up here, as I say, four by four times four by four times one by four. And then I've multiplied it all together. I've multiplied these two together first because you basically with matrices you have to do it one by one in a row. It's not um, it's not like normal multiplication where you can do three times four is the same as four times three. You've got to do these matrices matrices in order. So one times that one uh, gets you this, and then down here we have one big vector. And what have I discovered from this? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Actually, no, that's that's kind of a lie. What I've, what I've learned from this is, first of all, I, I don't think multiplying it through and it like actually expanding out the matrices, I don't think that actually helps in any way. I think that it's in this form um, for a particular reason. And that reason being because these matrices actually represent different things. Um, so basically, let's start with this matrix. It Does it not kind of look like coordinates to you? So like, 
At the top here, we have 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3. Because, of course, this is the first row, all of the first numbers are going to be 1. Then we have 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3. Oh, I can highlight the text, that's cool. <laughs> So what this looks like to me is a set of coordinates, which really excites me. Um, and the fact that there's uh, it's a three by three grid of coordinates makes me think that this is three dimensions. Um, and then what you have on the on the final column are t t constants um, or t variables or whatever, um, and that represents transformation, I think. So I think this is a geometric transformation matrix. And I think what it's doing is it's taking some coordinates. I think, no, actually, I think the coordinates are like x0 and y0. And then you have functions here. What it's doing is it's taking those in two dimensions. As you can see, we only have x and y. We don't have a z here. It's taking a two dimensional set of coordinates and functions and it's actually mapping it to a three-dimensional space. Uh, I think that's what's happening. And this is actually the sort of thing that um, that computers do. Um, you, you know when you have like a website or like a, a game, for example, where it like it has like a rotating 3D object or something, and you you kind of wonder how how does the computer do that? How does it program like what the shadows and like what the 3D object actually is, it's actually using matrices like this, granted a lot more complicated matrices, and it's actually mapping a 3D object into a 2D proje projection. So what do I think this means? Um, I have no idea. I am intrigued. Obviously, this, this is probably all wrong, and you're probably all laughing at me right now. But I, th I think what could be the answer here is that um, it's almost like... It's almost like the 2D image that we're seeing of Gravity Falls isn't the full picture. I think, obviously, I haven't been introduced to this character yet, but I know it's um, it's Bill um, Bill Cipher because you know I, I I exist on the internet. I know I know things like this. This is Bill Cipher, and to me, he looks quite like godlike. Like it looks like we are praying to him and. The key here is, like, I feel like this screenshot is also a bit of a metaphor. It's almost like he's at the center of all of this. And the thing I'm also noting is he... Hmm, he's a two-dimensional triangle. Like, he's obviously, like, he has this, like, pyramid structure down down here. Sorry. He has this, like, pyramid structure. He has, he has like, the laid bricks. But, like... At the end of the day, he's a two-dimensional creature, so maybe he's trying to get into our world through Gravity Falls or something. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. That's it's it's a hard it's a hard one. Obviously, I when I haven't seen the show very much, uh, when I haven't seen much of the show, I'm not really gonna know. This is the point of making predictions. But that's sort of what I interpret the matrices to be doing. I think it is a like a a three a two D to three D or is it three D to two D? I think it's a 2D to 3D transformation matrix, um, a geometric transformation matrix, uh, if if my brain serves me correctly. I haven't done maths like that in years. <laughs> and then the other thing that's uh, instantly popping out to me is this, these letters. So obviously at the end of each episode, I've noticed that they do, they do codes and it's always three, three letters before that, that, that's the cipher, it's three letters before the letters that we're being shown. So a V, a V is actually going to be, I need to get like a, a proper cipher for this, uh, so I can just do it really quickly. But a V I think is gonna be U-T-S, so it's gonna be S, and then W is the one, W, V, oh wait, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, S, Oh, okay, so it's going to be T, so S, T, D is going to be A, Q is going to be N, so Stan, that's a good start, uh, and then we know that the next V is going to be an S, and we know that the L is going to be uh, an I, Stan is, the Q is going to be an N, the R is going to be an O, the W, I'm assuming, is going to be a T. Yes, it's a T. Stan is not. Oh my gosh. 
Ooh, Stan is not what he... I thought it was going to be says, but it's not. Uh, what is it going to be? So we got a V. So the V is going to be U-T-S. Oh, wait, the, the V, we've already got the V. It's an S. Uh, so Stan is not what he seems. P. Yeah. Stan is not what he seems. Interesting. So we already know from episode one that there's a lot more to Stan than meets the eye. Because right at the end of the episode, he seems to go through this door behind, hidden behind like a vending machine. So that's very interesting that Stan is not what he seems. Hmm. A few more things that I'm seeing right off the bat um, is this select and start. And then we've got up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, select, start. That almost looks like a, um, what's it called? A, one of those like codes that you put in to, to change the, a cheat code. That looks like a cheat code, right? It's like a sequence, like up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. But why would that be a cheat code? It's, it's almost like, again, we're trying to like break the, break through the fourth wall almost. Like we're trying to break some code in order to, to get our way. Um, or at least from Bill's perspective, maybe. Um, again, I have absolutely no idea who Bill is. <laughs> I haven't been introduced to him in the slightest, but I know that he is the center of all of this. He has to be, right? Soon I'm gonna have like a big board right here, and it's, it's, just, gonna, it's just gonna be Bill. It's just gonna be post-it notes and like rope and stuff, and it's gonna be like, who the hell is Bill? Um, but hopefully I get introduced to him soon. Right, so the next thing I'm interested in, I would say, well, the next thing I think I could probably solve is this symbol down here and this symbol up here. Um, I don't know what these are. Uh, what I'm thinking is, um, like, like right off the bat, just gut instincts. We're going to look it up in a minute. But gut instincts are telling me, basically, we have like this wheel here. And it's giving me horoscope vibes, like astrology. But it's also giving me... Um, like Chinese New Year vibes, like you, you, like you know how they have. Um, I was born in the year of the snake. Um, I think that, uh, which is a really bad <laughs> year to be born, by the way. Um, but like, there's also the year of the pig, the year of the. Is that a year of the phoenix? I'm, I'm. That's probably not. I'm probably making that up. But you know what I mean. Like, there's, there's year of different animals, um, and and I and it is in a circle because it's a loop, right? It, there's only like fourteen. It's only 14 animals I think you can be in the Chinese calendar um, and so it, it loops it, every 14 years it loops um, and so it's a similar thing could be here but same thing with horoscopes right you've got 12 months of the year 12 different star signs I don't think that these symbols are gonna be star signs they could be um, they could be constellations although I don't think so what what's interesting about this Z down here is it almost looks like it's it's a Z going into an infinity so maybe it's like I don't know it could be um, like runes but why would that why 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 runes there's also this weird W on the right and I'm wondering if the red ink means anything different to the black ink all right here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna look up these symbols and we're going to find out what they mean Okay, I've got Z with infinity curl. Z with infinity curl. That doesn't make any sense. Oh my gosh, I've got some hair straighteners. <laughs> or, sorry, hair curlers. Ah! <laughs> I'm just wondering how else I can type this. A Z, is a curly Z. Let's look up curly Z. Uh, here we go. Ooh, that's, no, no never mind. That's not, that's not good. Um, Curly Z symbol. Um, I could also look in like Microsoft Word to see because you have like the sim the pack of zim symbols. This is just giving me like fonts. Um, curly Z symbol rune. Uh, oh, th there are some runes here. No, I don't think those those look like. Um, I don't think any of those match what we've got. I'm just having a look. What was it again? Oh yeah, it's like a weird like... 
I guess um, this like trident one looks similar, but even that is quite far off. Okay, I'm gonna go into Google Docs. Uh, this is this is my script for Midnight Motorist. It is nine pages long, uh, and that wasn't even the full video. Uh, insert. I'm going to go with special characters, and then can I draw? I want to. Damn it! Wait, there it is. That's it, right? No, I don't think that's it. I don't think. Is that, is that similar? It's sort of similar. I think the curl is on the wrong way. Okay, I draw a symbol and tell me what it is. That's what I looked up on Google. I wonder if... Uh, nope, that doesn't work. Uh, shape cat catcher, draw the Unicode. The thing is, like, I don't know if it is in Unicode at all, but I want this. Come on. Latin, no, it's none of these. What on earth is it? See, this just feels so close. Like, look at these. I just wish it would curl back around. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's maybe it's not even a thing. Maybe it's completely made up. Ah, it just looks so close. Look at it. Latin, small letter Z. Hmm. Okay, I'll keep looking. I just really feel like... Like, I'm looking at these runes, and obviously they all have, like, straight lines going up and stuff, but these don't. So I... I but they feel like they should kind of be runes. Is it... Uh, is it, um... Oh, what's it called? Um, alchemy? Like, al yeah, alchemy symbols. That exists, right? Oh, these look better. I think these look better. Um, although I'm not seeing the Z anywhere. Um, we want an alchemy symbols Z. Oh, okay, that's a little, a little better. It's still not there, but I think, I think alchemy is the closest thing here. Hmm. Oh, is it is it gonna be zinc? Because I know um I know like brimstone sulfur in binding of Isaac. Um so and sulfur is an element, so is zinc. I don't know much about alchemy, I'll be honest. Um that's a lot of alchemical symbols. Um Oh come on, there's gotta be a Z here. So there's sulfur up there. Uh, Z, 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 Z. Uh, there's a Z there. Oh my gosh! There it is! It's right there! It's literally, I don't know if you can see that. It's right there. It's right there. Uh, let's have a look. Let's explore. But what, what do they mean? What do they mean? Why am I going through DeviantArt now? Okay. Um, it's, does it go, oh, it is zinc, it is zinc, that's 17 down, right, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 17, yeah, that's zinc, second to last one is zinc, okay, so it is, it's a zinc, um, it's just how, yeah, there we, oh my gosh, we found it, zinc 3 inverted, Zinc 3 inverted. Okay. Uh, alchemy. What does this mean? I don't know what any of this means. Well, I think that's... Uh, like, whether I know what it means or not, I think that's proof that that is an alchemy symbol. But why would that be alchemy? Oh my gosh, I'm looking at a frickin' PowerPoint presentation of alchemy. <laughs> Little alchemy, alchemy... What is alchemy? Art of transmuting metals, mixing of different uh, elements to form new ones. That's just chemistry nowadays, isn't it? Um, story of alchemy... Oh yeah, here we go. 
Oh, the alchemists in Europe had separated into two groups, modern alchemy and chemistry. Interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Three elements of alchemy. Sulfur or soul, the principle of combustibility. Mercury or spirit, the principle of fusibility and volatility. Salt or body, the principle of non-combustibility and non-volatility. The reason I say that's interesting is because maybe um, th th like this feeds into the theory that we're trying to bring Bill to life, almost. We're kind of trying to fuse elements to make, to bring Bill into fruition. Interesting. It seems like there's some sort of like religious sort of aspect to this or um, not necessarily religious, but like, um, well, sort of, it kind of feels a bit like satanic. But it's not. It's um. It's kind of like praising, praising this this lord, this overlord, and trying to almost summon him and bring him, bring him to life. Um, and I, I think that's that. This is really interesting to me. This stuck out to me because it said soul, spirit, and body. It's almost like those are the three ingredients that you need to fuse together in order to create life. Almost. Um, Oh, that's why, oh my gosh, that's why I came across the presentation. I was trying to look up what this PPT meant, because I feel like this could also have some meaning for, um, this could also tie into the alchemy, uh, but I'm not, I'm not too sure. Oh, wow, a table of alchemical symbols. Hopefully this will help. So, oh my gosh, I don't know what any of this means though. That's interesting. So Saturn is lead, Jupiter or Jupiter is, uh, I don't know what that says. Uh, is that, is that tin? Is that tin? I think that's tin. I think Jupiter is tin. Um, Mars is iron. Uh, the sun or sol is gold. Makes sense. Venus is copper. Mercury is, is that quicksilver? Okay, and then the moon is silver. Uh, or, sorry, Luna is silver. Uh, but then, oh my gosh, this is so hard to look at. That also looks similar, antimony. That looks a little bit similar, but it's still, it's still really off. First of all, like the rotation is completely off. And then even like the shape is a little bit quirky. Um, Oh, so this does actually tie in to, this does tie in to um, astronomy, or astrology, sorry. Huh. And then here we have all of the alchemical symbols. I know at this point you probably don't even care about this video, but, um, oh, that's, that's interesting. That's an interesting find. That looks pretty similar. Although that just goes to Trident. Um, I love this, we're using Wikipedia to try and figure out freaking Gravity Falls law. Um, I think that's gonna be it for the alchemy stuff. I think, I'm I'm pretty sure, I, I'm still not sure about that symbol, but this symbol definitely looks alchemical and it almost looks like they're in, it's in the same font as this. Like you see, like the little, like the little curved, like balls on the ends. It's it's it is the same down here, and it's it's in like the same thickness of, of pen. So it, it it does seem connected in some way, but like I don't really know what else it could be either as well. Um, I've looked up a lot of symbols. Like I've spent quite a lot of time actually. Um, that I don't want to I don't want to say how much time, but uh, I've I've spent so much time trying to look through different sets of symbols to see if we can find these and I think alchemy is probably the closest thing and it, it again it does tie into that thing of trying to create something trying to mix elements together to get something else um, and then actually looking I, I haven't looked at the symbols around um, in the wheel uh, of what appears to be astrology um, first of all we have a six fingered hand down here not really sure not really sure what that could represent, um, but 
Then we have like this, it looks like a llama. But in the first episode, I think that was a goat, right? That was, that was a goat, so it could, it could represent that. The only reason I say that is because this star, this shooting star, I think represents Mabel. And then these glasses represent Stan, Grunkle Stan. And then this heart could represent the gnomes, like the lover of Mabel, uh, who we thought was a zombie. So it's like a heart that's like, I don't know. But then even after all of that, I don't really know what the others could mean. I, that question mark we've seen a lot around the, the cabin or whatever. Um, so that's interesting too. It just seems like these are all kind of elements of Gravity Falls that we've seen so far. Obviously, a, a lot of them I, we haven't. Uh, I don't know what Ice could do with anything at the moment. Maybe we'll see that later on in the series. But it seems like, yes, um, it's it's all of these different. Maybe it's maybe it's different characters, um, and Bill Cipher is in the center of it. Bill Cipher is um, connecting all of these and is in the middle of the mystery of Gravity Falls. I think that's probably a good theory as well. Um, God damn it! There's more symbols down here. Oh wait, I know what that is. I know what that is. Um, let me move my face cam real quick. I know exactly what this is, and the reason I know that is because we were just looking at alchemy. This, that, that's soul. That is the sun. Let me have a look. Um, I can't believe I'm going freaking back to... <laughs> I'm going back to um, alchemy. Here we go. Gold corresponding with the sun. So there's, there's your symbol right there. It's, it's a circle with a dot in the middle, and that is exactly that. Uh, although next to it, there is a square. That does not give me hope. <laughs> uh, why would there just be a square? Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Triangles. I'm thinking that's probably water, fire. So, or it could be earth and air. But I think, um, water and fire, potentially. I just don't know why they have the lines, uh, bisecting them. Um, and then we have some strange lines. It all, it does seem alchemical. That looks like regul, uh, regul dasnik. Uh, sorry for my pronunciation there. Regul dasnik, so arsenic, um, looks like that one. But what could this mean? Um, maybe it will, maybe if you take the first letters of all of these elements, it will spell out a word. Or maybe like if you take the chemical symbols in the periodic table of these elements, so arsenic is A-R, gold is A-U, so it's R, Al, well maybe not then. <laughs> um, I don't know, I'm just trying to think of things. Um, this is. This is quite pleasant. I actually like looking at alchemy stuff. This is quite cool. Um, we have this like wheel and like if these two lines weren't down here, it would be peace. But it's not. It's obviously not peace. Uh, there's no peace around here. Oh, hang on. I see. I see. I see them. Air and wind. And then this one is earth. Yes, yeah, so we got earth and wind. And then right here we've got gold. I think this is arsenic. Uh, but then is that it? That looks kaput mortum. Uh, I don't really see any others, unfortunately. Okay, once again, let's stop looking at alchemy. I'm I'm done with alchemy. <laughs> uh, so we've got the matrices. We've done the secret code here. We've looked at these symbols and these symbols up here this up here everything in the middle i don't know what this thing is down here the two e's and then a backwards e going into a z genuinely have no idea where to start with that uh and now that i mention it actually this looks this looks like a pentagram a little bit um if we just look up pentagram um it looks yeah, that, it is that star. Uh, I think most pentagrams are in circles. But it's a pentagram with an eye in it. 
uh, it seems like one of the key features of Bill, um, I keep wanting to say Bill Nye, by the way, it's so stupid. Uh, Bill Cipher, one of the key features is that he's triangle and he has an eye in the middle. It's, it's, is that where Illuminati confirmed came from? I'm assuming not, but, um, it, it, it's the same, it's that thing, right? I'm now part of the Illuminati. Um, yeah. Okay, next thing. Whatever, whatever this horrible diagram is right here. Um, we have a, a less than sign going into a triangle, which is eight. Going into two, going into up, right, left. What is going on? This is too, too much for my brain. I don't think I can solve that. I have no idea. Uh, we have, we do have an hourglass here. Um, so time, time. Could there be something to time? Could this be like parallel universes or something? I don't know. Like, I, I don't, I don't really know what this diagram could represent. Um, and then here we seem to have. Do we have binary? It's, it is ones and zeros, but um, but I don't know. So I mean, if we did if we did it hmm, if we did it up to down, it would be zero two seven two zero two seven two two seven two. Why does two seven two sound familiar to me? Okay, great. 272, cardinal, 272 is the natural number of, <laughs> after 271 and before 273. Fantastic, Wikipedia, thank you. Um, assigned to a minor planet, an area in Pennsylvania. No, it doesn't look like anything. Um, I just, I that sounded familiar to me. Uh, but that is 272, because you have one plus two plus four, yeah, seven, yeah. Um, and then up here, it seems like we have binary again. But then there's other letters and numbers in here. There's a reason I saved this to last. I have absolutely no idea. I genuinely don't know how to solve that. It's, it seems like we only have Zs, Ws and Ms. Is that 35? 35, woo! Um, the other thing I'm thinking as well is maybe it could be like, there's seven W's, there's five M's. Um, and then here it is again, you know? Or are these twos, are they twos? Maybe it's a two. But like, zero ones, zero one, one one, one two, one zero zero. I don't know. That's just throwing me off a bit. The Zs are throwing me off. There seems to be a lot of Zs around on this page, or Zs, sorry. Um, there's like a Z down here, but what is that? What does that actually mean for these puzzles? I don't know, because there's Zs up here as well. You know what, I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's all I can do. Um, let me know, don't let me know how to solve these sorts of things, if they're even solvable. Just let me know how I did, or, or congratulate me if I got something correct. But like, this is very interesting. As I say, I am really excited to get into the rest of Gravity Falls because this is the stuff that I absolutely adore. And this is just a screen in the intro and we've made a pretty long video out of it. Oh God. Um, but yeah, that's, that's sort of, so my prediction I think overall is that we're gonna meet Bill at some point, and he he has been um, he has been fused with elements of the Earth uh, to to come into fruition. Um, there's always it, it, it's and he and he almost wants to break out of the screen. He he wants to break out of the show. He wants to break out of Gravity Falls in general and come to our real world or something like that. Or and and I think he's he must be like a god or something. He, he is being worshipped in some way. I think that's just kind of being shown by the fact that he's in the center of this image and all of these elements around him that relate to Gravity Falls are, are almost like going into him. Um, and so, yeah, I think that's what the alchemy means and the matrices. 
And the other thing I know is that Stan is not to be trusted. I will remember that going into my next few reactions because I think he is a pretty sus character at the moment. He seems to know things that we don't. Especially knowing that he he lives there, right? At, while like we're on, um, is it summer vacation or something? I, I don't know. Or when I say we, I mean Dipper and, uh, and Mabel. But um, yeah, very, uh, very interesting stuff. I really like where this is going. This gives me hope. Right? That one day I'm gonna finish this series, I'm gonna get the book, and we're gonna have about 70 videos to make on the book. Because if this is what's gonna be in the book, I, I'm genuinely going to explode. <laughs> um, I think there's gonna be a lot to cover, so I'm very excited for that. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I will see you in another one. Goodbye.